What is up YouTube? It's your girl Mish here and it is Easter Sunday. So happy Easter Sunday to those who celebrate it. But Sundays are also meal prep days. So today I am going to show you how I meal prep my spaghetti squash in an air fryer. It's super easy, really quick, um, and it lasts me, the, this little thing lasts me the entire week. And yeah, I'm gonna show you how I do it. Also, this bikini is from One One. It's so cute, I love it. I was just out tanning, so like that's why I'm wearing a bikini. So yeah, let's just get straight to it. Okay, so I've decided I'm gonna do this entire video in this bikini because I really like it and it's really cute. Anyways, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is poke a bunch of holes in your spaghetti squash, like really deep holes. So if you need to take your anger out, you know, you had a really hard week, your boss is mean to you, or I don't know, you could take it out on this spaghetti squash, okay? Because, so the reason that you wanna do this is because uh, you're gonna wanna microwave it because spaghetti squash is a pain in the ass to cut through. So warming it up helps it and you need to um, poke a bunch of holes in it so the heat can get through. So that's good. Okay. <laughs> Probably look insane, but you're going to put it in the microwave for about a minute to a minute and 30 seconds to two minutes. You can do a little bit longer, but not too long because then it'll get really mushy. So I'm going to do that right now. Okay. Just kidding. I I need to put on some shorts because I'm in my parents' house, so I'm gonna be like a little more modest. But dude, okay, here's the crazy thing. Look how much weight I've lost. Like, look. This is insane. I didn't even realize I was that big. I sure have lost almost uh, 45 pounds, but I need like a binder clip to hold up these shorts. I'm using this right now just to like clip up these shorts. I'm not gonna do that. Oh. Yeah, like, isn't that insane? Oh, my fly is up. Sorry. Spaghetti squash is done. These shorts are kind of cute with this. Maybe? I don't know. Anyways, so now you're gonna want to use a really sharp knife. I this is the sharpest knife I have. It's a bread knife um, to cut through the spaghetti squash because it is really tough to cut through and like I'm pretty strong so that's saying something so what you're gonna do is cut off each of the ends okay like that okay so now is the kicker okay you're gonna want to cut it latitude wise not longitude okay the reason for this is because um, I personally don't like it when my spaghetti squash is like really mushy and watery. When you cut it this way, um, it the air fryer pulls more of the water out, so it the noodle comes out drier, which is like really good in my opinion. Um, but if you like it a little more watery, then just cut it this way. So I'm gonna do that right now. Okay, so yeah, like these are really tough to cut through, like really tough. So you gotta like make sure they're nice and warm, warmed up to cut through. But anyways, so you wanna cut it like this, okay? Really easy um, and simple, but like goes a long way. So now you're gonna wanna gut the center. You take all that mushy, gross stuff out. You can save the seeds and then like put them by a window or you can put them in a stove, make little like, you know, snacks out of the seeds. I don't do that, I just throw them all out. So I'm gonna do that right now. So the woman in the video that I linked down below uses a grapefruit spoon. It has a serrated edge that's really easy to like cut out all of the guts and stuff. I don't have that, so I'm just using a regular spoon with like a semi-sharp edge. So yeah, yeah, you just spoon it out like that and I'm standing over my trash can right now. You just scoop it into the trash. It's pretty simple. It's kind of gross, it's kind of slimy. Pretty much like that. What are you guys doing? Um, I know it's been a while since I posted. Sorry, I, honestly, everything I'm gonna say 
right from this point on is an excuse, but I mean, it's a valid excuse. I'm applying to grad schools. And it's kind of difficult, you know, not gonna lie. I, I'm the first person in my immediate family to apply to grad school, so the process has been slightly daunting, but you know, we'll get through it and we'll get to the goal no matter what, by any means necessary. Um, but that has been taking up most of my time, as well as training and my diet. But yeah, okay. So I just gutted the last piece. Now I'm going to show you how I season it. Okay, so for the seasonings, all I use is this um, avocado oil spray, a little bit of pink Himalayan salt, and some black pepper. Uh, not a lot of this, just a little bit for taste. Um, but yeah, that's all I do. So this is how you do it the most efficient way possible. Okay, you're gonna spray your hand, okay? And you're gonna like mix it like that and then just kind of like massage the squash. You know, give it a nice little working. That's really weird. Anyways, but yeah, you just do this with all of them. It helps you, um, so I don't use like too much oil. Yeah, that's pretty much it. It's just being more efficient with my use of these products. So yeah. And like a couple sprays in your hand is honestly enough for all of these. Okay. So now all the squashes have been massaged. Now it's time for the salt and pepper. I'm gonna wash my hands really quickly. Okay, so now time for the salt. just a little bit, literally just on one side. And then you can do as much black pepper as you want. I like a lot, so I'm putting a lot. And I'm gonna put it on both sides. Alrighty, she is peppered up. That's perfect. So now she's gonna go in the air fryer. Okay, so you're just gonna put it in your air fryer like this. Really cute, really fun. Um, my pieces are a bit big for it, but it's fine. You can just throw it in. Um, it'll cook uh, evenly through. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to put it in my air fryer for 25 minutes and flip it halfway through. And I'm also putting it in at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Also, can I just take a moment and admire this air fryer? She's so cute. She's literally Tiffany colored. I'm obsessed. Anyways, so you're gonna put it in and it's plugged in. Okay, so now you're gonna wanna turn it to... Uh, okay, so the squash is in the air fryer. Again, 25 minutes at 400 degrees Fahrenheit and I'm gonna flip it halfway through. So at 12 minutes and 50 seconds, I will check back on my squash. So as we wait, I'm actually gonna have a little snack. So I made myself a little bowl of berries some strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, half a banana, and spoonful of PB2 with one tablespoon of water because I like it thick. To be completely honest with you, I was literally just craving banana and peanut butter. This is the main character. Oh my God, this is so good. No, literally. So good. Okay, so when you take it out halfway through, they're gonna look like this. You know, a beautiful golden moment to her. And you're just gonna wanna flip them over. Probably don't do this with your bare hands. I don't know, I just don't feel it. But yeah, I just flip it. Okay, so now you just put it back in and it starts right back up again. So now, just enjoy your berries until your squash is done. I love that air fryer. It's so cute. You know, I didn't wash these strawberries, so I'm probably eating like hella bugs. That's okay. More protein. Okay, so I just took them out of the air fryer and they look like ooh, they look like this. Really nice golden brown. I also I also really like the air fryer because it gives it like a like a toasty flavor. It's really cool. Anyways, so yeah. Um, once it's like cooled. 
you're gonna want to peel off the skin like so um, okay so once all the skin is peeled off now the magic part okay you're gonna pull it apart like that ow it's kind of hot um, but it's like it makes the noodles and as you can tell like these noodles aren't like super watery or mushy like they're pretty dry and they'll soak up any sort of sauce you put on them just like regular spaghetti and they're really good oh my god yum it's so good okay okay i need to stop eating now i need to put it in the meal prep containers now okay this is just like so fun i need to show you guys okay hold on like look and then they're noodles it's honestly this is oh, mother nature is great she's really great you know she she has things like this that exist that they just exist out there man amazing okay so here's the final product some quick and easy air fryer spaghetti squash um if you try it out let me know how it goes let me know how much you love it because it literally turns out perfect every time um so yeah can't wait to enjoy this for the rest of the week also i just need to end it like showing you guys this cute bikini i'm obsessed i'm obsessed i mean look hello it's just so cute okay okay finally i'm done i'm done see you in the next one <laughs>